next speaker is uh, the lovely fiance of Misha Teasdale, uh, who I think, did you, did you present three years ago as well for a green pub? No, never mind. Uh, I thought there was a love story that I could tell. No. Um, and and she, she is also involved in Green Pop. She's the, she's the MD there. And she is all about getting shit done as well. And uh, I have a massive amount of respect for her. And she's going to tell us a little bit about festivals and maybe how to rethink festivals. Uh, just before you get up, Lauren, who went to Africa Burn? Okay, so the rest of them are recovering. Okay, there are like six of you here, like, and I had a good time. I am dehydrated. Um, <laughs> Lauren O'Donnell, please take the stage before I embarrass myself further. Hello everyone, I'm Lauren, and I can identify with that couch potato. It's a sneaky anxiety spiral that is so prevalent, prevalent in our society today. We feel guilty about everything. We panic about the future. We feel powerless. We do nothing. Um, and we're anxious about our planet, our children, our future, politics, and everything. But why? Well, it could be because we're bombarded with messages about what's cool, what we should have, what we should buy, what we need to own. And also because things are happening to our planet, our one home. And all of these things get scary, and they get too much, and we can get pulled into that, that sneaky anxiety spiral. We're also continually reminded about how bad we are as a species. I mean, we did this. That's those things that we thought would make us happy that we bought and threw away. And they were meant to make us happy, but now they make us feel guilty, and we're drawn back into that spiral of anxiety, which is terribly, terribly scary. So how can we stop this? How can we cut that spiral and turn those couch potatoes into faces that are happy and excited and inspired to take action? In my experience at Green Pop in the last three years, I feel that it's through just this. It's through action. It's through getting active, not anxious, about the future of our planet. It's about steering away from the doom and gloom messaging that we hear so much in environmental causes and focusing on what we can do and how good we are as a species and what we can do to get connected with each other, reconnect with our planet and get our hands dirty. And um, instead of panicking and doing nothing and sitting on the couch and feeling bad and getting back into that sneaky spiral, um, we need to remember how clever and intelligent we are as a human race. We need to stay positive and remember that we're very, very creative and we can stick to the positive, have fun, because we are also very good at having fun, and get active. For us at Green Pop, our method is planting trees, bringing lots of people together to plant lots of trees, and very importantly, having fun doing it. We've coined this term, festivals of action. And we call it a festival because we like to celebrate action. We like to have fun, get active about positive things. And for me, it's been so incredible to see what happens when so many people get together and they get together for a good reason. They get active, they sweat, they get tired. And there's this amazing natural high that comes over people at these festivals of action. Um, this weekend coming is our Platbos Reforest Fest. It's this weekend and the next weekend. And we take about 300 people to Platbos Forest, which is near Hermanus. We plant about 6,000 to 8,000 trees over the two weekends. And we have so much fun. We dance to bands. It's a magical ancient indigenous forest which has been deforested over the years. And it needs to be reforested. And we can do that by having fun. It doesn't have to be a, a chore. Um, these people look like they're having fun and they've just planted thousands of trees. So I encourage you to come and have fun and get active. And let's have a festival about it. Let's make it fun. This video now is just going to show you a little bit about our Platbos Reforest Fest last year. And like I said, it's happening over the next two weekends, so do join in. It's a tree evolution. What is the coolest thing I've ever done? Um, 
Definitely Grand Sound Festival. See the Victoria Falls. Skiing in Switzerland. Surfing at Musenberg. The coolest thing I've ever done is danced for the pygmies in the Congo forest. I decided I was going to go to Sri Lanka just after the tsunami. So planning through the mountains of Swaziland. Looking after my cat. Dune ride in the desert. Well, I think the coolest thing I've ever done actually took place today, and that was planting my very first tree. It's one of the best things you can do is just go out and, and plant a tree because you're already making a difference. Giving the trees some love. Champagne, media lies. When people die on TV, do you cry? You think about pollution when you go fly. When you go fly up in the sky, you worry about the oxygen supply. Another empty layer, so for stay. But don't you worry, cause it's okay. Because tomorrow's day, tomorrow's day, tomorrow's day. Tomorrow's day, tomorrow's day, tomorrow's day. A ring fence, pretense, an absence, a clear thinking, linking actions and consequence, non blinking adherence to the doctrines of dollars and cents, pounds and pence, and it sounds nonsensical, indefensible. This eventual but inevitable decline will be viewed over time as an abject crime of neglect. Now that's cause to reflect. Pause, take a breath. You To the people planting trees, we'll be thanking you for centuries. Is that cool? Okay. okay.